Lily. Yeah. You want to do it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's do this. Welcome back to the Blackwell Epiphany with Arx, K Queen, and Lily. Hi. <laughs> had to break the tension somehow. Last time we saved Heather, but distraction. <laughs> But we found out that Madeline was behind this all the frick along. So and destroyed Peter and Heather once she had the chance. And Michael. Yeah. So let's find this out. You. This whole time it was you. Indirectly, I knew these souls existed. I just needed to collect them. I could not collect my host until last, because my existence here was tied to him. As for Fielding and Goffstein, they were sleeping spirits. They needed to be awakened. Something only you could do. So, thank you for that. <sighs> Why? What the hell are you doing this for? I pulled you oh out my of God. the dark. You were free. Why mess that up? Free. You of all souls tell me that I'm free. I am dead. For centuries I have been dead. I was a good spirit guide. I did my duty. And yet did I ever move on? Did I receive any reward? No. I was passed on from host to host, saving spirit after spirit. It became tiresome. Then my last host banished me. I remained there, in the void, alone. Forgotten by the universe. Until you brought me out. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. For but real. I was still not free. To fully free myself, I needed power, energy. And these souls, these poor, misguided souls, were the nearest source I could find. Collect. Mm. Collect? What do oh you mean by gosh. that? I know, I crying baby. Possibly consume, ingest, absorb. He's upset I too. Energy as part of my own. You need to think, fix what you did, Missy. You need to fix this. Fix this? Yes. You can still make this right. Just undo it. Please, bring them back. I'll bring them through the light and we'll just pretend this never happened. I am sorry. I have not come this far only to turn back now. And what do you need energy for? What on earth could be worth all this? Allow me to demonstrate. Hey! Uh. What the hell are you doing? Ah. Red, you okay? Come on, darling, say something. Interesting. I wondered if I would have to relearn how to breathe or walk, but it all comes quite naturally, like putting on a tailored glove. Come now, Malone. Surely this it's is a this conversation and the one right after that feels the wind in my in my ship's sails. Was making an enemy for Just life. Joey's reaction to there this is no all. Need for this mm -hmm. hostility. No need. You lied to us from day one. I apologize for the ruse. I admit I have not been completely forthcoming. No kidding. Come now, Malone. Nothing has changed. I won't shirk the duty. I have no choice. We will continue to save lost souls. Performing it from this end could be refreshing. I work with Red. I work with Red, <laughs> not with you. You can think of me as her, if it will help. Like hell. Like hell. Sadly, you have no choice. I'm gonna fix this. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Fighter! Red. Fight her. Whatever she's doing, fight her. She cannot. If her predecessors could not win against me, then she has no hope. Not with the power I now possess. Predecessors? What are you talking about? This is not the first time I have attempted this. <gasps> da, da, da. In the void, I could only reach certain minds. The minds of other bestowers. Other bestowers? You mean... The other Blackwell women. Yes. But I was too weak, and so were they. I could only control their minds for a few minutes before they broke. Bro? 
joke. I did not expect that would happen. That line. <laughs> did come of it. I eventually learned the proper approach, and finally, I have succeeded. You're insane. I mean it, Madeline, a stark, raving lunatic. Do you have any idea what you've done? You dare condemn me, little ghost? Allow a few centuries to pass. Wait until you've been left abandoned in the dark, adrift, terrified. Then you can pass judgment. But until then, I must get to the business of living. Stay here. We're not done talking. I said stay here. Ah! Hey! Cut that out. Do try and keep up. Hmm. She stopped. Hey, I wonder why. <laughs> yes, Malone. Now what? Now what? I will simply live. I will grow old and I will die like any other soul. And when that happens, perhaps I will move on as intended. It is a slim hope, but after centuries of existence, it is the best I have. You killed Lauren and Patricia. I did not. I admit, their mind's rejection of me had unintentional consequences. But there was no malice intended. Well, that's just Jake, as long as there was no malice. I am going to go through this entire dialogue because... One, it is important, and two, Chivo. Yeah. I've already gotten it, but I'm showing you guys that just talk to her the entire time to get this particular achievement. I'm gonna fix this, one way or another. You honestly believe that? Yes. This might seem strange to you, but yeah. I've always known I was here for a reason, and maybe this is it. To fix what spooks like you screw up. That is amusing. Amusing? Yes. You honestly don't know. No. No, of course you don't. No what? Of course I don't know what. You think you are so special? You think you were... what? Chosen? You were nothing important, Malone. You were merely the last. The last what? The last spirit we saved. Before I was banished. I cannot continue the duty, so it was passed on to you. That might have been the actual real reason, you know, for it, but I still believe what Joey says is true, that there was a reason why he was the last one that they saved. Mm -hmm. He was there for a reason. That whole circumstance was, you know, it had to have happened for a reason, because as she says, each soul was kind of predestined for a certain duty. If you remember it. <laughs> yeah. So. What the hell do you mean I was the last spirit you saved? Honestly, did you think you were different from any other lost soul? The confusion, the fear they all felt, that you felt. It is no wonder you have forgotten. Doesn't matter. That was then. This is now. And right now, I plan on fixing this. Why are you pacing around? Actually, let's do this one Maybe first. Maybe you didn't mean to kill Lauren and Patricia, but you did kill George Austin. As a spirit, I hardly think so. Bull, you're the only one with any motive. I don't know how, but it was you. Poor Cooper. A weakened soul is such a sad thing. And his mind was so easily controlled. Why, in such a state, he could be told to do anything. Anything at all. And he would do it, with no memory of it. Well, perhaps some residual guilt remained. He has gotten quite agitated since it happened. Fortunately, that is no longer relevant. Why are you pacing around? No reason. I am just enjoying the sensation. It has been a long time since I have felt snow on my face. That's not your face. True, I suppose, but no matter. I am still enjoying it. You can't go any further, can you? Whatever do you mean? You're stuck. You're tied to Michael. Trying to escape it is like hitting a brick wall. It is a temporary setback, nothing more. 
What are you gonna do? Lug Michael's body around in a wheelbarrow? I'd like to see that. <laughs> Don't be absurd. You know as well as I do. I am bound to his corporeal form for a few days. After that, I will be free. Some master plan. <laughs> I love master this. Joey's just doing his usual <laughs> Joey snarkiness. Snark. Mm -hmm. you can't even cross the street. Only for a day or two. I can wait. I have infinite patience. Yeah, but does your stomach? You're gonna get hungry. Any problem has a solution. What about going to the bathroom? Red drank a lot of coffee. Perhaps burning Michael's body to ashes, or some kind of cleansing ritual. Here's an idea. Take a powder, just leave us the hell alone. Will you let me think? Never! Never! I can't wait for the cops to show up. A dead priest and you just around the corner? Bet you never expected to come back to life only to spend it in jail. Will you be quiet? Honestly, why you haven't driven your host completely mad is beyond me. Mostly because Rosa knows how to take it and dish it back. Pretty much. She's gotten so used to it. And now... Right, uh, be before you do that, right click on her and um, just have him look at her. Hold on. Just, just click anywhere. There yeah, there you go. I'm getting her back. One way or another. I'm getting her back. I just thought the line was just very touching. Ah. There you go. Choke her out. What? What are you doing? You know, Red and I oh. have a bond. <laughs> we gotta stick together. Where she goes, I go. You might be wearing Red's body, but you ain't her. There's a line in the snow, and you can't cross it. But Rosa Blackwell, she can cross it just fine. You're... you're hurting me! Good. Good. <sighs> you idiot! Do you have any idea what you just did? I just evicted you, sister. No. No, I will not be trapped in that limbo again. Tough. You made this mess, now clean it up. Very well. Just remember, you brought this on yourself. Oh, oh boy. Red, Red, talk to me. Joey, I... You okay? I... Uh, Careful. I feel... You. Great, like a bad penny. Dispatch reported a woman ranting to herself in front of a church. I had a feeling it would be you. Care to explain the dead body around the corner? Corey? That's Officer Palmer. Now, explain. No. Miss Blackwell, I've been patient and cooperative so far. No. Stay where you are. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Was it like this for them? For who? Red? I think... I think it's happening. Huh? Auntie, my grandmother, it's happening. It's like, it's like it's, no, it's too much. Red, stop that. Come on, you're gonna hurt yourself. Jesus, cut it out. Not again, not you, not now. Help somebody, anybody. So freaking heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Gotta... No! No! Huh? Joey? Joey? I... God, I'm tired. Let's uh, head on this way. After we cry our eyes out. <gasps> well Aunt then. Auntie! Hello? Auntie? Is that you? Oh, hey. I saved you a seat. Where are we? Where are we? You asked too many questions. You always did. Sit down, kiddo. 
We've got nothing but time. Cigarette? No thanks. That's so pretty. Mm. Yeah. I kind of want this as like a desktop. Just saying. Auntie? Let's talk to her a little bit more. What happened to me? To us? Don't know. Last I remember, my head hurt really bad. I tried to make it stop, but it just got worse. I might have thrown something? You did. I was there. Did I scream? Yes. I, I didn't hurt you, did I? I hid in the closet. Ah, good. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> the voice acting we just breaks my heart in this area, this part. Madeline. Yeah. She didn't succeed, but we ended up here somehow. Oh. That's all you can say? Oh. Does it really matter anymore? I guess not. You look so young. Well, I take care of myself. No, that's not what I mean. When I last saw you, you were over 50, at least. So I kept on living, huh? You were alive, if that's what you mean. Hmm, hospital bed, like mom. Yeah. Well, I guess it was my turn. And now, I guess it's yours. I've missed you. Oh yeah? Yeah. Thanks. It was starting at that point when I first played it where I was like, I'm really starting not to like you a little bit, Lauren. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? About Joey. About my family. All of it. You were five years old. You could barely understand how to tie your shoes. And I thought we had more time. But hey, you're here now. And we've got all the time in the world. Is this where you've been all this time? Don't know. Don't much care. The view is nice. And I don't have Joey nagging me. Mm. Auntie, is my grandmother here? She was, but she faded away. I guess it will happen to me soon. And you. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the view. Auntie, you don't seem yourself. Huh. You don't know me at all, kiddo. In this place, I feel more like myself than anywhere I've ever been. Huh. Sure is a nice view, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just enjoy it for a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, we're going to end it right here. All right. The next episode's probably going to be the last. Mm-hmm. Mo most likely. I'm depressed now. <laughs> yeah. I've played this game two to three times, and God knows how many times for Lily, and this part still depresses the crap out of me.